our solar system formed when a large molecular cloud, maybe a light year in diameter, started to collapse. Now, what triggered a collapse is not yet clear. It could have been that a nearby supernova explosion sent out a shockwave that, when hitting the molecular cloud, triggered its collapse. But it could also have been that just some random statistical fluctuation within the cloud triggered a collapse. Now we find certain isotope anomalies in meteorites, and such isotopes anomalies would be in accordance with an injection of certain material into the molecular cloud from, for example, a nearby supernova explosion, which is why the shockwave from a supernova explosion is quite popular. And this here is a model that shows how such a collapse could have worked. So there was the supernova explosion hitting this molecular cloud. Now what we need in a molecular cloud is, of course, a very dense center, so this is a density scale here. And secondly, we need a protoplanetary disk. So in this model here, where a shock front hits a molecular cloud, we can see that in the end, in fact, there is a very dense center here, where the, the molecular cloud was, which could then be the initial sun, and around this center there's a small disk. So such a shock front hitting a molecular cloud potentially can explain um, the formation of our solar system. So this is from a real modeling calculation, then just some nice artist impression. This is um, how an artist envisions the protoplanetary disk early on is quite good to get, get the first idea. So the sun, of course, in the center, and then the swirling um, protoplanetary disk around this center. And in the center, then, over time, material forms accretes together, gaps are opening, in which then the various planets form. And nicely, actually, we now have the images from the ALMA telescope, which show maybe exactly um, protoplanetary disks in the making and in the stages that were envisioned by artists at this stage, but now we might be able to observe this. So this is how the very early steps of the protoplanetary disk in the solar system might have occurred.